This video shows how to perform chi-square contingency table test by using R. So I have a few observations. One of them is, it seems like male student is more likely to wear glasses compared to the female student in this class. So I want to test if the association is significant. I collect a sample of 20 students. And then for each student, I record two response variables. The first response variable is a nominal data. So it's record the gender of the student, whether it's male or female. Then the second variable is to record whether the student wear classes or does not wear classes. I am organized in a table. I save it as a CSV. So the next thing I need to do is to load the data into the R. So I already have my working directory set so this is the working directory where i keep my data set so what i need to do i just need to write the name of the object then read csv copy the name of the file including the extension paste into the script of r then click run so now I have the data loaded into the R. Just click on the data set and examine the data. If this is a correct data set. Then the next step is to summarize the data by using a table. We need to create an object to keep the table that we're going to make just later. So we can use the same name to avoid any confusion. So this is a table of frequency for this data set. So the command to create a frequency table is table. The frequency table is created based on two variables, which is the gender and also weight classes. We can click run. After that, we can examine the table of frequency. So this is our data set. So it seems like the more female students do not wear classes compared to male students. However, we're not sure if the association is significant as we just took the sample from a population. So we have to perform statistical tests. So the next step is to perform the test. Just type chi-square test and then put the table of frequency, click run. So here they will show you the chi-square value, the test score, the degree of freedom and also the, the p-value. So in this case, if the alpha that we set is 0 0.05, then this test will not reject the null hypothesis because the p-value for the test is larger than 0 0.05. In addition to this uh, basic statistic, chi-square score, degree of freedom, and p-value, we also can examine what are the expected frequency that we test against and also some other statistical output. So what we need to do, we need to save this test as an object so we create an object and then we perform the test again exactly the same test but this time we set the result as an object so we can click run so now you have an object then we can examine the detail of the result so for example, you can examine the test statistic. So this is a test score that we have just now. Or we want to check our observed frequency or proportions. We want to check the expected frequency. So this is the expected frequency. So similarly, we also can summarize the 
frequency in the form of chart. The command that we use is a plot. The R will produce a mosaic plot. If you want to learn more about mosaic plot, you can just Google the mosaic plot and then read the description of this plot and how to interpret this plot. So this is a plot that we use to summarize our frequency table. So to do that, we need to type plot. Plot our data, which is the frequency table. And then just click run. Similarly, we also can change the title. Include the assist label. Then click run. So when you're happy with the chart, then you can export the chart. And remember to save your script.